Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to two soulful artists. Thank you for your continued support. And this question came across the Quora feed and I said, oh, it fits. So here we go. All right. How often does demonic activity occur? Every single day, every second, every I mean, every day, every second of every day. That is how often it occurs. This is why we got to get really good at armoring up. Yes, with the armor of God. And then really let, let God develop that discernment so that we can tell when one of the negative thoughts is trying to creep in there and we tell it to take a hike. Okay, because it, yes, remember, you know, they've said that the enemy is the prince of the air. Okay, however, is he in, is he in here? No, no, uh, uh, not, not with, not with us. <laughs> okay, I've already done the rebuking. You know, uh, once I, I'll share a little story with you all. I did an IG reel and yeah, playing back the audio, I realized that there was a presence that I said, ah, okay, I got to get rid of that. And so it's gone. <laughs> okay, because I was like, oh no, 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 enemy, you are not going to get up in here. Mm -mm. No. All right, we rebu rebuke in the name of Jesus because that is the key right there. All right, because demonic activity, it occurs all the time. In fact, for those of us on the outside looking in at the narcissistic matrix, we see it. Okay, we can see the demonic activity because after all, that narcissistic matrix is the demonic realm. Okay, truly it is, all right? So it's like, okay, where all of that abuse is being dished out. And so that's why we have to let God do the renewing of the mind like we do and to unlearn all, okay? And then like what the world, what that fallen world tried to tell us about us, okay? Like when they tried to abuse with the gaslighting of, oh, uh, you can't do this unless you do that, or you can't do this unless you do that, or blah, 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 blah. Okay, now there are certain skills, yes, that we are going to need to obtain that align with our purpose, right? And so we go, right, we go and grab them, <laughs> grab them out, you know, grab the skill, and you know, and what we need uh, to do the perfect will of God in God's reality, okay? But yes, it's kind of, it's the, it's the same concept of going you know, to the grocery store, and you are going to pick out, you know, the certain ingredients for a particular recipe or a dish that you want to make, for those of you who cook, okay? And yet it's the same concept. When we get into God's reality, and we get into our purpose, okay, and, and we are figuring out, okay, what's, what, how does this, is this going to align? That we're, we're picking out the ingredients, Okay, for example, all right, the devices that we've obtained, okay, here and there. Those are the ingredients, okay? Yes, for the purpose. All right, so there's your way to look at it, all right? And I know that, you know, your chef will appreciate that. I'm the spiritual chef. I do cook, yes, obviously, but <laughs> I'm a spiritual chef, okay? We're getting, getting God's spiritual truth to you all. Because we realize, and, and, and even though we've got to navigate through the fallen world to get those ingredients, the tools, okay, that we need to do God's perfect will, all right, we're watching what's going on, okay, in that narcissistic matrix. And it is nothing but all that abuse that's being dished out, the slander, the gossip, the discord, the strife, the envying, all of that. It's going on on a daily basis. Oh gosh, all the time, and it's being dished out, you know, from not, you know on the societal level, and then so these narcissistic abusers pick it up and they start dishing it out on the individual level. See, that's how it works. Okay, that demonic activity is the narcissistic abuse in in, in a lot of ways. Now we're not, and yes, there's other ways that demonic activity takes place, absolutely, 100%. That would be anything that had to do with witchcraft, and we do not participate, okay, you all? We do not participate. We follow God's word. We are obeying God. We are not into what the world thinks spirituality is. No, right? we know darn well what spirituality truly is. 
right? And that is being with the Godhead. That's it. It's that simple, okay? Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it, but it's that. Yes, that's what it truly is, okay? It's not any of that stuff that that the world has labeled as spiritual. No, all right? No, 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 no. We do not do that, all right? God tells us specifically not to do that. So, of course, naturally, the enemy is going to trick a lot of people into actually doing it, thinking that that's the spirit. No, that's not the spirit wall, okay? That's, um, that's not the spiritual realm. No, okay? The spiritual realm, you know, it, it's your thoughts. It, the, you know, the kingdom of God is the mind. That's why we learn. We have to be mindful of our own thoughts, what we tell ourselves. We have to unlearn negative self-talk, Okay? So that, yeah, because that negative self-talk, that's demonic, you all. Remember, anything negative, okay, that's from the enemy. So it's going to be demonic. Negativity is demonic. It's not, you know, we're not, that's not how we're supposed to live our lives, you know, thinking that way. No, uh, 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 uh. that's how the enemy thinks. That's how he tricked the narcs into thinking, all that negative stuff, negative, negative. And that also tricked them into expecting the worst, always walking out there uh, expecting the worst. Mm -mm. We've got to unlearn that. Okay, we unlearn it, because every single, every second of every day, there's demonic activity going on, and we see it, you know, with that narcissistic abuse. We're not tolerating it for ourselves anymore, no. We've walked away. We don't play the narcissism game. No, 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 no. We learn that when we choose God, <laughs> we stop playing the narcissism game, All right? Because we realize, many of us, we danced with the devil long enough, okay? So when we get with God, all right, get with Jesus, get with God, and we stay. Remember, we have that choice to make. Every single human being had this choice to make, all right, on God's time. And we all, only we know, okay, between us and God, okay, when that had happened, when we got that final trumpet call and we had to make a choice. Did we want to stay? where we were, or we want to go with God. We chose God. Chosen one, choose God. Okay? I mean, it's just, it, it, that's a no-brainer. Right? <laughs> we choose God. And once we do that, yes, okay, God does some more preparation. Okay? So, to help us unlearn all of the old ways that are very demonic. Okay? Many of us didn't realize we had those narc fleas just clinging there. And they were trying to get in the subconscious, okay? That's, just, that's where the enemy does it, all right? And remember, you know, God also tells us that we've got to diligently guard our hearts, okay? It doesn't, it's not walking on eggshell. It's like I've said in a previous video because what happens, chosen ones, is that we armor up and we are God's soldiers, all right? We are standing like on the outside of the kingdom of God to protect the mind, okay? So we watch out for those subliminal messages that are designed by the enemy to try to get in there and trick us into believing his lies. And we don't do that. Mm -mm, no. Because see, those subliminal messages are also through, you know, how the world tried to tell us about ourselves, what they tried to tell us that we, right, yes, okay? Uh, tried to tell us this is what was wrong with it. Listen, y'all, there ain't nothing wrong with you. No, you're not broken. I'm going to bring that back right here in this one to remind y'all of that. No, you're not broken. See, that's how the narcs think. Okay, that is, oh man, that is a vulnerability that the enemy loves to get people into thinking that they're broken. You're not broken. No, 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 no. You can be healed. Okay, yes, you can be healed. You're not an object. No. Right? You're not an object. Narcs are the ones that view human beings as objects. No. You're not. You're not broken. You are hurting, and that's natural. Okay, we all have to go through those stages of the healing process. All right, so it's like when the survivors come to me, you know, in a session, I know they're coming to me hurting and, and confused and trying to make sense of everything that just happened because I know they themselves are not broken because they got everything in you, okay? All y'all got everything in you already from God. Okay? It's just a matter of overcoming all of that and then discovering what it is that God put in you to do. <laughs> okay? Uh, so, but you have to take us through the necessary healing stages. Okay? So that we get over that trauma. Alright? From all of that demonic activity. Alright? That was taking place. All that narcissistic abuse and all of that.
So we overcome that, okay? Because it does, it occurs every single day, every second, right? And we have to learn to overcome it, spot it, know it for what it is, and not, you know, not not deny it anymore, not make excuses for it anymore. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because that's God got to clear the cobwebs. You got to take off that cognitive dissonance thingy. Okay, we call it a um, cognitive dissonance hat, if you will. So God lifting that, and so we can get our clarity, all right? Get the clarity back, the logic and the reasoning and things like that. You know, many of us chosen ones, listen, we knew that these narcissistic abusers were not logical. We already knew that, but we didn't understand why. Now we're, now we're getting the understanding of why, okay? And I'll bring that to y'all. Every time God reveals something that he needs me to share with you all, it's coming, okay? <laughs> Just know that, all right? But those narcissistic abusers, they are not, they're not logical. They don't have, I mean, they, they've got both sides of the brain, obviously, but they don't use them in conjunction with each other, okay? They can't. They don't have control of it. They don't have control of their own mind. The enemy has control of their mind, okay, or an illusion of control. Now, if they want to change, if they recognize the error of their ways, that's what we pray for. If they recognize the error of their ways and they want to change, well, then they can, but... Many of them choose not to because they let the abuse and the trauma turn them bitter. Okay, remember that. There's a lot, a lot of them that are like that. They, yep, they let it, they let it turn them bitter. And then, of course, because they're still trauma bonded to whatever they're trauma bonded to, and so they're believing that that illusion is actually a reality. Uh, uh yeah. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> God cho chose one out of the matrix, and then we realize that we've been lied to since birth. And so we have to unlearn a lot of stuff, a lot of conditioning we have to unlearn. And, and it is another process in and of itself. Undoing, you know, basically, it's just another form. It's a spiritual cleanup is what it is, okay? So once God awakens us to and from the abuse and get to, to push us in our purpose, part of that pushing is overcoming all of that stuff. And then, but we have to recognize it, you know, identify it, recognize it, and then go, okay. And then we put away the childish thing, we overcome it, we grow, we mature. God gets us in position, okay, for the next level up. Things like that. He had to get us in position, all right? So you're doing that preparation, you know, as you're in a, you are in the uh, hands of the potter, okay? So never forget that, all right? So you know, trust God's process, I'm here to tell you, okay? You got to trust his process. Because, he, you know, God knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 100% God knows exactly what he's doing. And so that's why we got to trust him. And he's going to reveal things mm -hmm, because he needs us to see the demonic activity. He needs us to see what's really the demonic activity, the real stuff. Not the images and the stories from childhood and, and all of that. And not taking the, the Bible 100% literally, okay, all right, seriously, because there's a lot of parable and a lot of metaphors in, in, in God's Word. And so we got to have the Holy Spirit. That's right. Okay, the Holy Spirit needs to be activated so that we can properly interpret God's Word and understand what Jesus is talking about in his parables. All right, there's a lot of those. And, and that was very strategic, you know. I was like, hey, he was smart. Okay, got it. All right. And so we, as chosen children of God, also learn how to do that. Because that's what I'm saying is that this channel and the content that CHA has out elsewhere, it's not going to resonate with the narcissistic abusers. Absolutely not. In fact, a lot of, the, a lot of God's spiritual truth is going to go right over their head. Okay? It is going to go right over their head. They they have been conditioned to believe what the world view believes about spirituality. They don't they don't have a clue. Okay, remember you got to be raised a spiritual body, all right? And so we learn that, and so unlearn. Okay, you know of the old ways that had some uh, uh, demonic attachments, if you will. You know how the narc fleas are clinging. Okay. They're not coming from within. No, 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 no. We discover that the God Spirit and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are in us, right? We discover that. And then we're like, oh, and our intuition starts to get stronger and we can pick up on these things, okay, a lot quicker. And so, yeah, it's going to set us apart. Mm-hmm, absolutely. 
And then God is going to show us up and out on his time in some way, shape, or form. So I want to remind whoever needs that reminder, and if you're you're on that journey, right, to get in your purpose, I also want you to be ready for that, okay? We need you to be ready for that, all right? Godhead and I need you to be ready to, under, you know, be ready for the fact that, okay, because you can't be like, I mean, we're going to be a little bit nervous, but in a... Um, in a good way, though, more like more like an excitement. You know, looking forward to it, the experience and the and, and learning of new things and stuff like that. Okay, it's a good thing. It's like, oh yeah, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> you know, so when God sees, we're ready. Okay, so we got to get ready, and God will put, get us in position at a certain where, where for whatever it is He put in us to do. Okay, yeah, but He had to do that. All we got to do that healing and that getting closer to God so God gets closer to us and then just keep on building that close and personal relationship with the Godhead. All right, so just keep on keeping on. All right, and, and don't let the demonic activity, don't let it get in there. Okay, we see it for what it is, we leave it where it's at. As always, if you have any additional questions, you know where to reach me. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.